Hi all, welcome back to this video tutorial. We can start learning about the processor logic design from this video onwards. Before starting, we can learn about the principles of designing a digital system. A digital system is a sequential logic system constructed with flip-flops and gates. To specify a large digital system with a state table, it would be very difficult. Usually, a system can be defined or designed based on its state table. But designing a digital system with its state table, it's very difficult actually. To overcome this difficulty, digital systems are invariably designed using a modular approach. So, the basic design principle of a digital system is modular approach. The system is partitioned into modular subsystems, each of which perform some functional tasks. The modules are constructed from such a digital functions as registers, counters, decoders, multiplexers, arithmetic elements, and control logics. So, in modular approach, everything is considered as a module and each module can perform certain functional tasks. The modules are constructed from various units like registers, counters, decoders, multiplexers, arithmetic elements and control logics. The various modules are interconnected with common data and control path to form a digital computer system. So how can we design or develop or implement a digital computer system? For designing a digital computer or developing a digital computer system, various modules are interconnected with common data and control parts. So these interconnection units are known as common bugs. To describe a digital system in terms of functions such as adders, decoders and registers, it is necessary to employ a higher level mathematical notation. For describing the digital system, uh, we have already said that digital system consists of certain modules and modules are implemented using adders, decoders, counters, etc. To describe the digital system in terms of functions such as adders, uh, decoders and registers, it is necessary to employ a higher level mathematical notation. The register transfer logic method fulfills this requirement. So we have a register transfer logic method in which we can specify the mathematical notation for the digital systems functionalities like adders, decoders and register transfer etc. So here we have this register transfer logic to describe the digital system functionality properly. In this method, registers are selected to be the primitive components in the digital system. So, in case of register transfer logic, based on the register transfer logic principle, the digital system, the basic uh, building uh, unit of a digital system is considered as the registers. That means everything, everything inside this digital system is developed based on registers. Okay, and every storage spaces are considered as register unit here. The basic operations of a digital system is best described by specifying the set of registers in the system and their functions. The binary coded information stored in the registers, the operations performed on the information stored in the registers, the control function that initiate the sequence of operation. So, in order to specify the functionality or operations of a digital system, here we have this register transfer logic and in which we um, specify, we can specify the functionality using uh, registers. The set of registers in the system and the functionalities used for specifying the operations of digital system. And uh, we also want, uh, want binary coded information. We also want to consider the binary coded information stored in the register unit and operation performed on the information stored in the registers and the control functionalities that initiate uh, the sequencing of operations. So, in order to specify the operations of a digital system, we need to consider the set of registers used and the binary coding information stored inside the registers 
and the various arithmetic and logical operations performed on the content of registers and the various control functionalities used for sequencing the various set of operations okay so here we have this register transfer logic now we can consider or move into the basic principles of this register tra transfer logic okay so register transfer logic a register encompasses all type of registers such as shift registers counters and memory units register means or register in register transfer logic a register encompasses all types of registers such as a shift register counters memory unit decoders etc a counter is considered to be a register its function is to increment by one the information stored within it so counter is considered as a register and its functionality is defined as the increment of the content of register by one and memory unit memory unit is a collection of storage registers where information can be stored and the stored informations are in binary format binary information stored in the register may be binary numbers binary coded decimal numbers alphanumeric characters control information or any other binary coded information so inside the register we can store information in binary coded format sometimes it may be numbers alphanumeric characters certain control information some any other information but can store in a binary coded format numbers are manipulated with arithmetic operations here we have certain manipulation operations here like arithmetic operations for manipulating the numbers stored inside the registers or as control information usually manipulated with logic operations arithmetic operations like addition subtraction division multiplication etc are usually applied on the stored numerical information but the control logic or control information usually manipulated with logic operations such as setting and clearing specified bit in the register such as setting the value of flag bit or resetting the value of flag bit and this flag bit indicate the state information or control status of certain situation okay the operations performed on the data stored in the registers are called micro operations so this arithmetic operation logical operations and everything inside the register transfer or logic the operation performed on the data stored in registers are usually called as micro operations so micro in operations may be arithmetic operations or logical operations okay so in register transfer logic every operations performed on the data stored on registers are known as micro operations micro operation is an elementary operation that can be performed in parallel during one clock per period the result of the operation may be replace the previous binary information of register or may be transferred to another register micro operations include uh, operations uh, if it is executed number of operations micro operations if it is executed in parallel mode then every micro operations can be completed in single clock pulse okay and the result of the operation may be placed on a previous uh, previously used register itself or can be transferred to another new register both type of data storage or result transfer is possible we can store the result inside a previously used register itself or can transfer it into a new register okay example for micro operations like shift count add clear load etc micro operations requires only one clock pulse for execution if the operation is done in parallel already mentioned this that means if set of micro operations executed in a parallel mode then in a single clock pulse we can complete the number of micro operations but in serial computers micro operations requires a number of pulses equal to the word time in the system that is number of bits in the shift register that transfer the information serially while a micro operation is being executed but in case of serial computer or in a serial mode of execution 
it uh, takes more number of clockers to complete a micro operation like shifter in case of shifter we want to shift uh, the different bits stored in the register shift register so if uh, this shift register contains more than one number of bits like some n number of bits then it takes more number of clock pulses in order to shift the entire bits of information stored inside a shift register this is just an example okay the control function in a binary variable that when in one binary state initiate an operation and when in the other binary state inhibits the operation that is the functionality of control unit this control function means the function in uh, the control function uh, that is acting on a binary variable that initiate uh, or perform uh, this control function and if the variable state in one state indicate a particular operation and when in the other state uh, binary state inhibit the operation suppose uh the control variable value is equal to 1 means we want to perform certain operation and if its value becomes zero that means we want to stop the execution of that particular operation okay so this control function set and reset certain variables so that based on the value uh, whether it is a set state or in a reset state we can start or inhibit the operation based on the value of certain variables the control function that initiate the sequence of operation consists of timing signals that sequence the operation one at a time this control function that initiate the sequence of operation consists of timing signals that sequence the operation one at a time okay is uh, this control function used for sequencing a set of operation so that this control function uh, start the execution of one operation at a time and inhibit all others that means it support sequencing of different operations register transfer language or computer hardware description language register transfer language or computer hardware description language this is a symbolic notation for representing registers for specifying operation on the content of registers and for specifying control functions register transfer language this is the language contains symbolic notation for representing registers for specifying operation or the content of registers and for specifying control functions that means for specifying uh, this uh, uh, arithmetic and logic operations and control functions here we have a certain symbolic notation predefined symbolic notations and representation and this notations are known as a register transfer long language okay a statement in a register transfer language consists of control function and list of micro operation so uh, a statement in a register uh, transfer language means a uh, register transfer language uh, in which a statement indicate include a control function and also number of micro operations type of micro operation most often encountered in digital system can be classified into four categories four types of micro operation usually uh, used in a digital system they are integer transfer micro operation this integer transfer micro operation do not change the information content when the binary information move from one register to another integer transfer means just transfer a register content to another register without any modification on the stored re register data arithmetic micro operation perform arithmetic on uh, numbers stored in registers like addition subtraction etc logic micro operations perform operations such as and on or on individual pairs of bits stored in registers logic micro operation means logical and and logical or operation and these operations are performed on uh, by uh, bits of information stored in the register that means performed on each bit of registers independently shift micro operations specify operation for shift registers for shifting 
to left or shifting to right or for shifting in a circular manner the binary information commonly found in register of digital computer can be classified in three categories numerical data such as binary numbers or binary coded decimal numbers used in arithmetic computation non numerical data such as alpha numeric characters or other binary coded symbols used for special applications just for storing alpha numeric characters non numerical data means storing alpha numeric characters instruction codes address and other control information used to specify the data processing requirements in the system so the type of data that can be stored inside a register in register transfer logics are numerical data non numerical data like alpha numeric characters and instruction codes address and control information okay so these four are different types of micro operations most commonly used inside digital system and this three indicate type of data uh, the classification of data stored inside the register of a digital system next is about the integer register transfer operation micro operation integer register transfer operation what is this integer register transfer the register in a digital system are designated by capital list letters sometimes followed by numericals and these are uh, used to denote the function of register in register transfer logic the registers are represented using capital letters like a b etc sometimes numer numerals are followed by these letters r1 r2 etc following are some commonly used registers inside the register uh, integer register transfer logic accumulator this is the most common register used to store data taken out from the memory accumulator used for storing data taken from the memory general purpose registers this is used to store data inter uh, data intermediate result during program execution general purpose registers are used for storing data intermediate result during program execution it can be accessed via assembly programming special purpose registers users do not access these registers special purpose registers are not used by the users these registers are for computer system only mar this is a special purpose register we have already discussed about this mar mbr pc ir etc mar means memory address registers and these are not used by the users and these registers that hold the address for memory unit and these mar register content are accessed by the system only mbr memory buffer register store the instruction and data received from the memory and sent from the memory sorry received from the memory this mbr is sent to the sorry sent to the mbr means for storing the address of memory locations and mbr is used for temporarily storing data uh, received from the memory before transferring to external bus or for uh, in order to write something on memory we need to temporarily store the data from the external bus for some time on the mbr before writing on to the memory and this program counter we all know about this program counter this program counter point to the next instruction to be executed currently executing one instruction during that time this program counter holds the address of the next instruction to be executed this program counter sometimes hold the next instruction the next address location in case of sequential execution and in case of branching this program counter holds the address of a target location or a target branch location and this instruction register ir hold the instruction to be executed uh, this ir hold the currently executing instruction 
okay these are the register used in a register uh, integer register transfer logic and this is the representation of register in case of integer register transfer so this is the block diagram representation of registers this indicate from this diagram it is clear that this indicated register its name is a and this name is represented using our uh, previously discussed convention that is using capital letter a and this is another format from this it is more clear that the name of the register is a and it length is a bit okay a1 a2 up to a8 means total 8 bits can hold inside this register a that means here it is representing individual cells of the register a here it is mbr uh, the register is mbr with the size is 12 bits and here here this corner here it is represented as one indicate the first cell the lsv cell here it is the msv cell here it is marked as 12 that means total it can hold 12 bits this is another representation with split information program counter this part 1 to 8 cells indicate the program counter with uh, least half position and this is the higher half with uh, from 9 to 60 okay in from this diagram a 16 bit register is partitioned into two parts the name of the 16 bit register is pc and the pch refers to the eight higher order cells pch higher order eight cells starting from cell number 9 to 16 pcl refers to the eight lower order cells of the register numbered from 1 to 8 pcl holds the lower eight cells 1 to 8 and the same another method of representing the register uh, registers inside the integer register transfer logic is register declaration statement here it is the register declaration statement for the declaration use the keyword declare register a of 8 comma ma r of 12 comma pc 16 what it means a of 8 means declare a register a with how many cells 8 cells ma r with 12 cells pc with 16 cells declare sub register PCL equal to PC of 1 to 8, comma PC of S equal to PC of 9 to 16. This sub register declaration statement actually indicate this block diagram. Declare sub register PCL with how many cells? Cells from 1 to 8. PC of 1 to 8, comma PCH means PC of 9 to 16. this uh, sub register declaration statement indicates the partition of register program counter here next is the register transfer logic information transfer from one register to another is designated in symbolic form by means of replacement operator so for representing the register transfer we can use the replacement operator just like sh as shown here R2 implies R1. What is the meaning? It denotes the transfer of data from register R1 into R2. Okay, this is register transfer logic. Next, control function. How to represent control function in this register transfer uh, language? A control function is a boolean variable or a function that is equal to one or zero. The control function is a boolean variable or a function. Its value must be zero or one. The control function can be represented as p colon r to implies r one. This indicates a register transfer operation. When will this action takes place? It action takes place whenever its variable or its function value become one. So this control function is represented uh, as control function colon followed by the operation to be performed. So whenever this value p become one. this action takes place the control condition is terminated with a colon just like this p control statement 
it shows that the transfer operation can be executed only if p equal to 1 consider one example like x dash or x complement t1 colon a implies b this is the control statement x complement t1 colon a implies b it symbolize it symbolizes the requirement that the transfer operation be executed by the hardware only when the boolean function x complement t1 equal to 1 when this x complement t1 become 1 this is x complement t1 means actually an and operation of x complement and t1 when will this value become 1 consider this diagram when will this x complement t1 value become 1 if the both the input of this and gate must be 1 then only the output of this and this and become 1 so that in order to get a value 1 here here it should be x complement equal to 1 and t1 equal to 1. So x complement equal to 1 means x equal to 0 and t1 equal to 1. So when x equal to 0 and t1 equal to 1, this condition, control statement value become 1 and this statement going to execute. The register A must have a load control input so that it can be enabled. That is, this is from this diagram. The timing variable T1 that generated by the control unit is synchronized with the clock pulses that are applied to register A. Consider this one. This is actually the hardware implementation of this particular statement. A implies B with a condition X complement T1. That means whenever this X complement T1 equal to 1, then this action takes place. The hardware implementation of the statement is given here just like this. And this register is A is connected with a load control from this control statement. That means whenever this control value become 1, this load get activated so that the register A can receive data from the register B only. Okay. The control function stays on during one clock pulse period and the transfer occurs during the next, next transition of the clock pulse. In uh, if this condition is not true or it's uh, x complement t1 becomes 0 then this load statement is in a disabled state whenever this control statement value become 1 then load get enabled and during the next clock pulse the register transfer takes place from register B to register A the register A must have a load control input so that it can be enabled when the control function equal to 1. As we already discussed, this uh, register A is associated with a load control. This is always in uh, disabled state and become enabled when this control value become 1. The control function is generated by means of an inverter and an AND gate here, just sh as shown here. X complement is implemented using an inverter and its complement T1. This is implemented using an AND unit here. These are some uh, symbols used in uh, register uh, uh, transfer language. Capital letters and numerals like parentheses. What's the meaning of this capital? Sorry, the capital letters uh, and numerals are usually used for representing the register. And subscripts are also you know, used for representing the name of registers just like this. And parentheses denote the portion of a register as just like we represented here. PCH, PCL representing the part or sub-register declaration. Arrow mark denote a register transfer operation. Colon used, uh, used for indicating control functions and comma separate two or more operations okay and square bracket indicate uh, usually used for representing the memory address so consider this one here we can uh, use the square bracket what's the meaning this mbr implies m of mar what's the meaning this actually represent a memory data transfer, transferring data from a memory location whose address is currently available in a MAR register. So identify the address from the MAR register, move to that memory location. Here this M indicate, this transfer actually indicate, this address location currently in MAR actually indicate a memory unit.
So transfer data from that particular location to MBR. So in order to represent the memory address information, we can use this square bracket here. The statement that T3 colon A implies B comma B implies A. This is the significance of this comma here. This denotes an exchange operation that swaps the content of two registers during one clock bus. Here this comma. T3 is the time variable. This T3 actually acts as a control statement here. So that here T3 colon. This T3 actually a control statement or a control constraint here. So whenever this T3 is control plus or third clock pulse occurs, what will happen? Two operation takes place in parallel. That is the significance of this comma. We can separate different parallel activities or different parallel micro operations using this comma operate that means during this time variable t3 a tra data transfer from b to a takes place as well as from a to b takes place in a single clock pulse for uh, completing number of micro operations they are executing in parallel we need only one clock pulse this topic that point we have already discussed in previous slide consider two statements here this one t1 colon c implies a t5 colon c implies b whether it is a parallel execution no this is not a parallel execution because here we have no comma operator between these two statements What's the meaning of this two statement? During uh, time variable T1 takes place an operation C implies A. Means transfer content of A to C. And at time variable T5 at the time instant T5 takes place another activity transfer from B to C. So the hardware implementation for this particular statement is given here. Here we have an OR operator connecting with T1 and T5. And an inverter is used as an enable for this uh, 2 to 1 multiplexer. Here we want to perform transfer operation to a common register C from A and B. So A and B registers are given as an input and is connected with the multiplexer and multiplexer output is connected with the register C here. Okay, 2 is to 1 because 2 input and 1 register. When T1 become enabled, perform a to C transfer when T5 become enabled perform data transfer from B to C. Okay. So here we have an enable input. When this enable input become active then only this monthly plexer become active. Uh, so and T1 equal to 1 and this enable input equal to 1 this selection pin select register A. So that the transfer takes place from A to C. And if T5 become 1 and enable become 1, then selection pin of this multiplexer select register B so that data transfer from B to C takes place. So this enable uh, input should be active in order to make this multiplexer active. If this may, uh, multiplexer is active and T1 become active, then which operation takes place? The transfer from, from A to C takes place. Okay, similarly, when this act, multiplexer become active, when will this multiplexer become active? Only when this enabled input become active. And if this enabled input become active and T5 become active, then takes place a transfer from B to C. Okay. Uh, so, okay, so we can stop about the integer transfer operation and there is notations used and about the representation of uh, registers, control statements uh, and parallel statement etc. In this video, we can uh, discuss about the bus transfer and other activities from the next video. Okay. Thank you.